Okay. And we will separate. And Graham's in charge over here, doing very valuable science. Oh, we need two crew for that science. Okay, not doing very valuable science. <laughs> Maybe we should send a scientist to the surface, but uh, anyway, let's just go with this. Okay, so we're activating navigation for Descartes. I'll enter the coordinates this time because last time just pushing, putting a marker didn't work out for us very well. Uh, but I'm going to use that to see what the actual coordinates are. It looks like it's this one. 8.59. It's 8.59. So it's actually 8 degrees and let's call it 36 minutes. That's 8.6. Okay, well that doesn't look like where the marker is. <laughs> but maybe if you zoom in a lot, uh, it gets closer. Yeah, it does. Oh, look at that. I mean, it's really close if you zoom in a lot. But then if you zoom out, it looks far farther away. Strange like that. Okay. So that is our location. And basically 90 degrees away. We'll correct our inclination. Best place to do it. Try and be in line with that location. Okay. So that will be our retro burn for now. Thomas already has 6% stress. Okay. Ignition. We'll just do it as plotted. 17 minutes to there. We have an 8 minute stage. We'll be slowing down along the way. So I think 5 minutes ahead will be fine. Oh, uh, we're ending up a little... Oh, I don't know. It's too finicky. That marker is messing me up. The actual marker of the location as opposed to our red marker. Let me just add a maneuver node to tell me how long it is till that point. Oh, better watch out for the terrain too. This is not the flats here. Okay. Ignition. Oh, it's reading from this node, though. If I keep that node, it's not going to show me the real target difference. Gosh darn it. Oh well. See, the tranquility is over here. Right now, we would be crashing into it, but we're not going to be crashing into it on this course. Lowlands instead. Seems like we're ending up too far north. Okay, I think that's good enough on the yaw. I think we should delay a little bit here. That suicide burn countdown is high enough. Okay, we'll try it now. Stuck on map view like this, but it's better than trying to just use that number. Well, I don't think I can do more from this screen. Here we are. I'll get landing gear down ahead of time. Okay, let's wait a little bit. Keep in mind that the next stage has a different thrust weight ratio, so we can't trust the suicide burn countdown just the way it is. Okay, we're falling short a little bit. Let's sort of hover a little bit. They're probably off to the side, too. Okay. Staging. Okay, well, that's a different target difference than I wanted. Uh, we are falling short a bit. By the look of it, hopefully it'll be close enough. Probably shouldn't try to get too close, but we're gonna try and get closer than this. I don't even know if the coordinates are good enough. Oh, 
Okay, RCS off. Well, 1.162 kilometers away from what I plotted, it doesn't read it as the right place. 15 degrees, that's 15.3. That's 8.6 instead of 8.59, but for heaven's sakes. Is there any way he can walk over there? Seriously. Okay, so... We activate navigation. It should show us a marker on here. Okay, there. Alright, go that way. <laughs> I don't want to use the jetpack. It'll um, probably take too much because we've only got nitrogen. It's not going to start counting our two days yet. Thomas himself has uh, limited supplies, of course, but if it takes us that long to get to it, we're not getting to it. I'm worried about fizz warping. But, well, I mean, we shouldn't be that far off, honestly. Will him walking to it be good enough for landing? Well, I mean, he's hopping. It's counting it as a new landing each time, right? Well, we can sort of pick up the sample along the way and do the EVA report along the way, too. All right, I'm going to try some fizz warp here. Hopefully that doesn't cause our lander to pop up in some devastating way. We've got the EVA report. Oh, entering Descartes. Well, hold on. Okay, how far was it? 400 meters. Gosh darn it. And I know that it's not the center of Descartes, but... Okay, plant a flag. Thomas at Descartes. Uh, Descartes. So I'm not Pete Conrad. So, oh, what did I do? Oh, uh, okay. I better be careful while I type in here. It could activate things, apparently. It activated uh, atmospheric autopilot. Sue me. <laughs> Just not that accurate, come on. So, SS flag has once again been planted, and we will make our way back. At least they let us, you know, walk on over there. I guess that's not too bad. Gave us a reason to have a little excursion. Oh, oh it popped! See, see, these, um, see, see? Coming out of Fizz Warp at the side of the hop. Look at those foot pads too. All very suspicious. Oh, we have to continue getting the surface sample. Hold on. Okay. Okay, park yourself out here. Two hours, twenty-two minutes, we'll keep an eye on the Oh. Hopefully it was only Fizz Warp that caused the hop. Okay, carefully coming out of time warp. Ooh, a little bit of slidiness this time. Does like to change things up on us, doesn't it? Okay, board. All right. Uh, whatever that says. Now we have some other instruments on here, somewhere. Got this one. Surface analysis, surface sample. Uh, well, that arm's going the wrong way. Hmm. We have a thingy up here, RPWS. That is pointed in the right direction. That is long. Okay, it is run. That one's running. This one is running the surface analysis. Can't do both at the same time? I don't know. It's just, uh, it's getting more of an analysis of the lander itself. I'll have to reposition that. Okay. And. We are apparently done with all that stuff. Okay, it is running both. So, which one is the longest here? Well, that one we're not gonna get done with. That's 30 days. Uh, we just... Half an hour will be fine. I mean, we're gonna be down here for longer than that. Okay, so... We'll just count the two days. And make sure... That our supplies are happy. 
Everything is charging. Well, everything was charging. <laughs> it seems like past a certain amount of time warp, it stops reading the solar panels. Yep, uh, at the next level of time warp, it does not seem to keep track of the electric charge properly. Okay, it's satisfied that we've stayed here for two days. We'll just power up here. Okay, now how hard is it going to be getting back to our ship? The Mark 1-3. Well, we'll have to sort of go north-ish. We'll wait for it a little bit. We want it to be closer. Oh, it says we're under acceleration. Don't be under acceleration. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should have this in. It's not going to do enough. Still thinks we're under acceleration. We are sliding. <laughs> oh no. Okay, let's not have kill rotation, but uh, which way will... Okay, there we go. Uh, yes, now we can. Whew. All right, time warping. Okay. And... SAS on, and ignition. Surface. Let's go heading 80 right now. In a pinch, the tug is still an option. We still have that little tug parked in orbit. But I think we'll be alright. Pulling at about 10 degree relative inclination. Okay, that's orbit. And we've got a 43.77 kilometer closest approach distance right now, so that's not too bad either. Um, we can, no, we can't minimize that by much. Okay, so around here, let's see how much it costs to fix that inclination. Okay, there's a 2.1 kilometer one over there. Uh, okay, touchy. But this is practically perfect, really. We're in this nice little low orbit. We correct the inclination and we just get a tangency over there that's basically barely touching the target's orbit. Uh, we're starting off in this low orbit. Everything looks good. In fact, the target's right there. Well, not quite as advertised, but that's okay. Let's go over there. Okay, that's within 200 meters. Okay, hold steady please. And Graham will have to do the docking here. Okay, slowing. All right, we have docked. And this time the hatches are on the opposite side of each other. I don't know if, that, I don't know if I have to transfer science or stuff like that. Anyway, hopefully Thomas will carry everything. Okay, all right, let's abandon our lander. And there's not enough left in here to do anything with, so it will deorbit. Any, no, that's all done. RPWS could probably be done around here though. 30 days, I guess it could last. All right, fair enough. We'll just let do the RPWS2. No, no, don't kill rotation. We won't destroy it yet, but we will name it derelict. Okay. 
Time to go back home. Showing Lunar Lander depleted there, even though we had no business with it this time. I must have accidentally clicked it or something. Okay, that's 60 kilometers. Crew reports continue to happen. Well, that's the derelict lander. Uh, let me just keep an eye on it so that we don't bump into it again. And go. Okay, looks like it'll be fine. Okay, about a four day trip back. And that's the same deal. Okay, out we go. Everything's checkmarked, yeah, just re return home safely. That's all we need. And Earth. Might even be coming down on the daylit side. Okay, intensity mitigation time. Okay, that's good enough. Service module separation. Parachutes are armed. At least we landed in a different biome this time. And that's Africa again. It's always Africa somehow. Alright. Okay, definitely suborbital. Oh, we got a crew report flying high over the savannah. Okay, looking good. Okay, full parachute deployment. And we are coming down right over the heart of South Africa here, basically. Okay, well, we got 22.7 science recovered. That was synoptic terrain photography, though. Did we get the sample? And they're taking a break, though their retirement has been extended by quite a lot. I don't know, I, I feel like maybe we leave the surface sample behind or something accidentally each time. But anyway, that all worked out and that mission is done by the look of it. Okay, where are you, Mission Control? The other crewed targeted moon landing rover is optional here. Uh, it would get us a lot of those points, we'll see. But uh, but we will probably have to have a totally different thing for that. I don't think we have room for a rover. So but it depends on how much time we have on the program. I think it's the best paying program, so we might as well keep it for as long as possible and do something with it. But yeah, this one uh, is for three days. And it's got... It, it does allow the same one, potentially. I don't know. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll, we have to pick it up. It is the capstone mission. It's, it's necessary, and we'll see how that goes. But probably not in the next episode. I would like to do something else instead of landing on the moon constantly. So we'll try something else. Maybe we'll... Uh, it's a long time for the Jupiter missions, though. And I think we're going to be done building what we need for the next attempt. I might be stuck just doing a moon mission. We'll see. Anyway... With that, and with it very dark around here, maybe I'll at least get us some sunlight. Alright. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.